All right, our uh, new oil just arrived. So I'm going to put some new oil in here, so fresh oil, and then run that vacuum test again and, and see what happens. See if the same thing happens or something different because it could be the, uh, the oil. So this way we'll eliminate that possibility. All right, here's the oil. We're going to start filling it up. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and fill it up uh, to where it's right about in the the middle of the screen. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me pause it, and then we'll come back uh, when I get it filled up. We have it filled up, so we're going to put this on. Let me dry any oil off of here, and we're going to try try this. We're going to put this back on. Then we're going to turn the unit on and put it under vacuum so that's that's just kind of snug not really super tight i'm going to close this up let's go ahead and turn unit on i've had it turned off and see i've got a call later today with uh, the tech support so i left the back off just in case we need to get back there for anything and now we're powering up once that gets powered up there we go we're going to hit Oh, oh, I don't want to hit start. Let's cancel that. I wanted to hit this leaf up here and then turn on vacuum. And that turns on the vacuum. And you can see we're at 35, 44, 45, something like that, millitors. So we'll see what it takes. Uh, we'll let it run for a while. Where we started at, uh, well, about... Uh, 13 after noon so we'll let that run for 10 minutes and see what it does uh, it's starting to dot, drop down so the, at least the pump is working so let's see where it goes and uh, we'll go ahead and pause this and we'll come back once uh, we get uh, a little more time on all right vacuum's been running for just about 25 minutes and we're down to 624 millitors it should get way lower than that so we'll we'll let it go a little bit longer and see if that's the lowest it gets or what's going on with it because before it did get down to under 500 and one time right around 300 but right now it's not even doing that so we'll let it run a little bit longer and see what it does well we've been running for just about 32 minutes and it's still dropping just really slow so we're gonna let it run for probably an hour and see what it does. And then uh, we'll see what it does when I turn the uh, pump off. Um, I'm expecting if there's still some kind of a leak that the vacuum will start increasing, uh, which it should not be doing. It should hold a vacuum. So we'll come back when we've had a little bit more time on here. We'll probably come back after about, uh, it's been going for an hour and we'll see where it's at then. Well, here's the progress on the vacuum test. Now, we've been running the vacuum test for about 25 minutes. We're down to 475 millitors. It should be getting less than that. Uh, it should get down, you know, from 100 to 300 because I know it did it before. So we're not sure what's going on. Hopefully the tech, when he calls here in another couple hours, we'll be able to figure out what's going on. So we'll let it go and uh, we'll come back and we'll see what the tech has to say. A little bit of an update on the Harvest Right Air Number Nine. I just got off the phone with the tech, and we'd get down to uh, like uh, 420 millitors, and then he's just going to test it. So we sprayed around here, and it didn't affect anything. It wasn't anything going on. So then he said, "Spray around here, and here is where our culprit is." this seal is not sealing up because as soon as we started spraying here it went up um in, in the the numbers and then we let it drop back down and we tried it again it went back up so we're gonna have to take this off and reseal it with the teflon tape we have teflon tape uh, so we'll just have to move this out of the way and there's a card on the back of this um, uh, sensor we'll pull that off we'll unscrew this and we'll put some new teflon tape on here and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it once we get it off and we can see, you know, maybe there's a little tear or something when it put on here. Because sometimes the Teflon tape, when you put them on, uh, you know, if you don't get them quite tight enough or something, you know, they can, they can get messed up putting on. So we'll put that on 
and then we'll put it under vacuum and test it and see if that works because that will solve the problem. So maybe all of us that are having that uh, error code number nine, we might want to check this as well. Spray it with a carburetor uh, cleaner. Spray this as well as this to see if which one of those is that because this was not the problem. This was the problem here. So we'll continue on. We'll we'll take that card off of the back here. Let's see if we can take a look. Move this out of the way a little bit. See that card on the back, that green there? That's the card. We have to pull that connector off. It's going to make it a lot easier uh, unscrewing it because there, if I remember right, there's wires on the back of there. And we need to have those so we can turn them. If we keep twisting wires, we can twist the wires off and break them. So that's what we'll do next. So we'll come back once we get ready to do that. All right, we're getting ready to pull the sensor off. And if we look, we can pull this up and kind of move this out of the way so we can get to it a little bit easier now you notice i have i have it all unplugged and turned off so there's no power in here so i don't have to worry about getting across something that i shouldn't be getting across um, so now as you can see there is Okay, there's no wires across the back of here, but there is a connector up here that we can take off for the wires. And you can see this card is kind of rectangle, so you have to take it off before uh, you can unscrew this because this is not gonna turn with this here because it's gonna hit this foam. So we just need to see if we can take this connector off the back of here very carefully just kind of jiggle it all right that connector is off and they should be keyed so they only go on one way you can see right over here in this corner there is a little slot so then if you look on this connector when i get it off you'll see that there's a little ridge there so it's only going to go on ways so you want to make sure that where that's pointing when we get it on all the way, it's pointing that way because it's pointing down. It's not going to have room for that connector to go in. So let me grab the wrenches and uh, we'll un unscrew this and we'll go from there. All right, I've got a 9 16 wrench. That's what I'm using to take this off. And it might have been able to just uh, um, tighten it up a little bit, but uh, the card where the card was, it wasn't going to go too much further because of just the way it was lined up. Let's see if I can turn it. Yeah, I'm turning my fingers now. So let's take a look at... Oh. There's some of the Teflon tape that was, was loose. And let's take a look at itself. There is not much Teflon tape around the threads. It's all back, back here. So uh, it looks like the Teflon tape, so you get the focus on the te where the Teflon tape was, was not doing a very good job on the threads. So let's clean that off and we'll put some more tape on it and we'll see what it does there. You can kind of see that there's a big ridge. They must have put a lot of Teflon tape on there. You clear back to here and you don't need it clear back to there. Down here, that's pretty thick. It's no wonder it didn't seal it very well. So let's go ahead and clean that up and we'll come back once I get all cleaned up and then we'll, we'll put some new tape on it and see what it goes from there. Okay, if you look and see, that's how much they put on there. You only need about three wraps. That was so thick, it's no wonder it didn't seal up. Here's what it looks like after we've pulled that off. So we're going to clean that up, and we're going to put the three wraps on here because it was just so thick that it just kind of pushed it back, and it didn't really seal the threads up very well. It's a surprise that it worked much. the first time. That's way too much uh, um, tape. I got enough there. I can do probably three of these. <laughs> so let me finish cleaning it up and we'll wrap on uh, three wraps like we should and then we'll put it back in. 
All, right, all the Teflon tape is off. Uh -huh. And they, they had the tape clear back to here. You don't need it all the way back to here. That doesn't do anything. You just need it around the threads. You start, a, you know, like a thread or so in because you don't want it wrapping over and plugging the hole up. But just wrap back in here and put them on there. I'm going to put three wraps on. Uh, put it on counterclockwise so as you're turning it in, it, it wraps the Teflon a little tighter. So we'll do that. We'll put it back in. Um, I'm going to just reuse this tape. Nothing wrong with that tape. Uh, it was just used way too much. So I will put that on and we'll come back once I get the Teflon tape put on. All right, there it is wrapped. So we're going to come up here and we're going to put this back in. And make sure that, yeah, all the other ones out. So let's go ahead and start putting this back in. We're going to turn it, make sure it gets finger tight first before we do anything. All right, there we go. We're finger tight. And now, let me pause and uh, get my wrench. All right, we have the wrench. We're going to start snugging it up. We don't want it to get super, super tight. But we do need to snug it up. So once it gets a little bit of resistance here, then I'll, I'll start looking at where the uh, pin is. See if we can find the pin on the end of it. Okay, right now it's pointing down. Now I think it's, let's, where's it at? It's pointing towards me, so let's turn it a little bit more. Okay, there it is pointing straight up. Now I did notice when I went to take it off before, it was fairly loose. So it could have just been I needed, I could have tightened it up, but there wasn't any place to tighten it up to. There we go. Now that should work because the pin is off to the side. Okay, we have that line up. We're going to push the card back on. And now we're all done with the installation there. We're just going to put this back in place over here. So that lines back up. There's a little slot it goes in. And now that's all ready. So now what we're going to do is we're going to power it back up. And then we're going to put it in a vacuum, run it for about 20 minutes and see what our pressure goes down to and see if that did fix our problem. Then we're gonna spray this again with the carburetor cleaner and make sure that we have that sealed up. If it doesn't, then we'll have to pull it off and, and try something a little bit more. Uh, I put about three wraps back on instead of the 12 wraps that was originally on it. That was way too much. Uh, all it does is push it out of the way as we pull the threads out. You see it had removed all the Teflon tape on it. You should still have some Teflon tape on there when you pull it because that's supposed to seal the threads. So let's go ahead and we'll put this back together and we'll get it started uh, in the vacuuming and uh, we'll see what it does. Have it powered back up. So let's go into up on the little flower up there and then turn it on. And we're at 68,708 millitors. We just started the vacuum. And we can hear the pump starting. And now we'll wait about uh, 20 minutes and see what it gets down to. And uh, we'll see if that fixed our problem. And then we will start spraying it again to make sure that that really did fix our problem. It's been a little over 21 minutes and we're down to 513 millitor. So we're going to let this go down a little bit more. And then we're going to do our spray test to see if it increases or not. We'll let it run for a little while and, and see what we're getting. See if we can get bottom out, we'll let it run until we think we get a bottom pressure and see where that goes to and then spray it and go from there. 
We've been running for about an hour and 20 minutes. We're down to 415 on the, the vacuum. And now we're gonna spray around that uh, sensor, uh, again. sensor again and see what it does. No, nope, not yet. I should have done something. I did it right away before. Well, it's starting to climb up to 428. So, same shit, different day, huh? Right. So, it's still climbing, so it's, it's not... The sensor's bad or something. Or what? I don't know. It's 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 not there. So we'll 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 do this again. We're gonna take it off and then uh, um, you know maybe wrap a, a little bit more on there and see if we can get it tighter. Uh, but it's not um, still not working right because it's rising up. It's 465 now. It's still rising. So that didn't completely fix it. So we'll, we'll we'll try it again just to make sure. Uh, I won't film that again because it's just the same thing we did before. So I'll go ahead and pull it off and we'll try it again. Put a little bit more Teflon tape on there. Uh, try you know five or six wraps or something to see if that that can seal it up a little bit better. But that looks like it's the problem. We'll let it drop back down again and spray it again. And if it goes up, then that's definitely still our problem. All right, what we did was we redid the Teflon tape on here, and then it still leaked, so I took it off and put a few more wraps on there, and then it had a slight little leak in there, so I tightened it up just a little bit tighter. So you can see this card back here um, is, well, I can't see it too well. Yeah, there you go. I could put a little more turn in there. Uh, so that's what it did, and we tried it, and it's just a slight increase is all we got, not a major one. So I think we've got it fixed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come around here. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to clean all this out, you know, because we've been spraying in that carburetor cleaner. I'm going to clean everything up really good, and then we're going to try a batch and see what it does, see how well it uh, works, see if we get that air. If we don't get that error, then that, that fix it. If it does, then we'll we'll have to go back again. And I'll probably leave the the back and the cover off because I don't want to put it on and then take it back off again uh, if I have to get back into there. So that's what I'll be doing on this one. And we'll see how that works.